Hello everybody and welcome to Digger's Dungeon in the Outer Banks of North Carolina for Dennis Anderson's brand new Extreme Kingsling Monster Truck Ride Experience. In this brand new venture, Dennis offers a ride of the likes we've never seen before. You get to ride in a 1500 horsepower full competition built monster truck driven by the man himself, four time Monster Jam World Finals Champion, Dennis Anderson. Available to any and all Monster Jam super fans, this is a once in a lifetime experience comparable to nothing we've ever seen before. Let's get right into it. San Diego. I've been a Monster Jam fan my whole life. Right this is a on. dream I never knew could come true. That is cool. Hi, Courtney. Nice to meet you. Hey, Courtney. How you doing? Who's riding? Yeah. Oh, me. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're riding. <laughs> All right, Carl. That's nice Carl. to meet you. Hey, how you doing, Carl? Are you with him or is this another group? Yeah. 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 I have gone out and done some field testing with it. But one thing we haven't done is we've never tested it in the mud as far as sliding around and all that. I have. I've been in a monster truck, right. you know, for over 35 years. You've been watching it for 30 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've, I've, dro I've drove in the mud, but the experience you guys are going to get today is going to be new to you, and it's going to be new to me. Right? <laughs> That's a brand new truck, and I haven't drove on that track in the rain. And um, I did share with you. Yep. And we may drag our feet just a little bit to let the rain, uh, you know, give up some. And um, and we, I've already, you know, went out and checked the track early this morning. And we've moved some barriers back so we could dodge some of the deeper water holes. But we're going to give it a shot, man. We're going to learn this thing together, and um, and you'll see it's going to be it'll be an experience that, that I will get from you guys. <laughs> are these the first rides? Or? You oh, yes, you guys are the first rides. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> good luck. I hope you make it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> but hey, I just wanted to, you know I just wanted to, you know meet and greet you guys this morning, and I'm going to go down and get ready with. The rest of them and okay. all right hey are, is anybody nervous i'm excited i'm gonna tell you right now i'm i'm excited and i'm nervous too so, <laughs> so i'm but before we get to the track let's get a little safety briefing done first so the safety brief the ride with the monster in the lane welcome to the ips Today we're going to go over your entertainment, your safety, as you get ready for the wildest ride of your life. I hope it's going to be the wildest ride of your life. <laughs> All right, the safety team, Cindy already went over that. I'm the safety manager. I go through and check the truck before each run, after each run, and between whenever you, the truck is cooling down. So the truck is always going to be safe. There's nothing to worry about there. I have personally been in the truck riding with him. It was crazy. but. It, everything was perfectly fine with the truck. You don't have to worry about getting stung with the shocks or anything. We already tuned on those. So that's gonna, you all don't have anything to worry about. Just get in, strap in, strap in and hold on. Okay, so this is all of our ride gear, our safety equipment. You've probably seen many of this, or much of this before. You have your fire pants, your fire jacket, your shoes. You have your head restraint, which also holds your neck back from moving. You have your helmet. Cool thing about the helmet is a lot of people don't run visors on their helmet. We actually do because this hooks up cold air, so we put the or we put a tube to this, and we have a fresh air system that'll blow into your helmet, so you won't overheat or anything. Don't really have to worry about that today. It's probably gonna be a little bit chilly, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you guys on the bottom here. You have a chin strap, which we will all be out there to help you. So whenever you put the helmet on over your head, put this through both of them. Pull it down, separate the two, and then you put it through the other hole right there and cinch it up kind of tight on your neck, but not choking. I'm gonna show you how this uh, neck restraint right here hooks to your helmet. Again, we will be out there helping you. These are very simple. Flips onto the side of your helmet right here and on the other side over here, which we'll double check all that, make sure you're all, you're all zipped up and you're all clipped in. Most important thing, please listen to us, follow our directions. If we tell you don't get out yet, hold on. Let me tighten you a little bit more. As we're trying to do it for your safety. So make sure you pay close attention to that, please. If you have any issues during the ride, all of our helmets are equipped with radios inside of them. You don't have to click any fancy buttons. It's already all wired up. So this plugs into the main radio of the truck that connects with Dennis. 
and you have a microphone in your helmet here, so whatever you say in the back seat, he can hear. Unless if y'all are back there hooping and hollering and he's kind of distracting him, he can cut you off, but it's probably not going to happen. So if you have any concerns or anything during the ride, say, Dennis, stop, please stop the truck, which we shouldn't have any of that today. It's, it's a very safe ride. In case of injury, there should be no injury. It's more likely that y'all would slip or something once you're out of the truck on the ground and hurt yourself. But just in case, let Dennis know over the radio or we can also hear you off the track. So if he doesn't pick up on it, we have a remote ignition interrupter that we can shut the truck off with and we can go out there and check to see what is going on. And that's if you, there's nothing there you could really get hurt on in the truck. You might smash your finger or something, but it's not gonna be anything bad at all. All right, about the truck, we do safety inspections prior to each run. I already explained that to y'all. Uh, should Dennis experience any issues, the truck will shut him off with the RI that I just explained to y'all. So it will shut the truck off with the click of a button. There's an onboard fire system. That's the system I explained to y'all. There's actually two of them. And there is a needle behind the passenger seats as well in the engine compartment. So if anything flares up, it'll break that needle and the suppression system will go off and it'll, it'll, it won't catch y'all on fire. <laughs> There's a grab bar that will be lowered into place. Also, when the grab bar is down, it is, you're still able to get out of the truck, but please just wait until we lift the grab bar up. It makes it just a little bit easier for you. Uh, I kind of already went over this. It's a 14,000 pound monster truck. It's a 1941 Custom Willys Crew Cab, and it will be loud. It has zoomies. I know Feld shut off zoomies for the past 10 years. They don't like the sound of it, so they put the 4-in-1 headers on there. We, we put zoomies on this truck so you can get the full feel. Climb aboard, strap in, and get ready, for, get ready to rock. <laughs> now that's it for the safety briefing, but before we move on to the track, Check out the insides of Digger's Dungeon full with tons of Grave Digger memorabilia and beautiful monster truck and King Sling mud truck merchandise. Such a beautiful shop. Out of ride. So now it's time to slip on those gloves, cover your face with the head sock, and put on that helmet because it's just about time to ride. This right here is Cliff, the guy strapping on my helmet. He's Dennis's main man on the ground, talking to him on the headset, crewing on the truck. He's such a great guy. He was so helpful during the whole experience. So now it's time to hop in the truck. Let's go.
So now you can see Ryan checking in on his dad and Weston checking in on me, making sure everyone's okay. They have to let the truck sit and cool down before going back again for the second session or else the engine's gonna blow and you don't want that happening. I love you guys. Oh, you're all crazy. I ain't riding this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared I was going to miss it and I was running late. How was it? Fun? Come on in here. <laughs> hey, how are you guys doing back there? Any helmet on? They got, their, they got their helmets up. Y'all good right now, right? I'm yeah, okay. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> Woo! Get ready because now it's time for round two. How was it? He broke front steering. Oh God. Dennis broke the front steering. I don't know exactly what happened, but he broke the front steering somehow. Baby. <laughs> was that cool? Did it look cool from the outside? Yeah. It felt really cool. Loud as shit. You obviously hear about how it hurts in real life, and but that, that hurts. <laughs> like in a good butt? way. Oh no, no, like everywhere. It's just the, the force, the G-force is pushing on you. The real monster truck experience. That was really good. So that was it for the very first ever King Sling Extreme Monster Truck Ride driven by Dennis Anderson. I am honored to be the very first rider, me, along with Xavier. You see him in the clips as well. So awesome. An experience that 
can never be matched again. There will never be anything like that again I do in my life unless I choose to go again, which they were talking about changing up the track once a year or so and, you know, bringing a whole new experience to the experience about once a year is um, what they were talking about. That sounds so awesome. I would love to make that a yearly trip, a yearly thing to do. So fun. There's nothing like it. As you saw, Dennis uh, broke a, um, the front steering pump. For, uh, he had no front steering, uh, so it cut off the second run a little bit early. But, hey, I'm not complaining. So fun still. I mean, I get to say that Dennis broke the truck while I was driving it. So I'm not complaining about that. Very cool. Also, uh, which I did not uh, get in the video, is that at the end of the ride, when we went back up to the, uh, the trophy room, that was shown before. That's where they were showing all the safety and everything. Uh, I got a goodie bag. I got this hat signed by Dennis Anderson 2021, uh, along with a Kingsling flag, a lot of posters, personal note from Dennis. Uh, they did everything they could to make this special for uh, each and every VIP member you know, who is uh, riding the Kingsling ride. Such a fun experience. I can't say that enough. Hope you all enjoyed this video. This is by far one of the best days of my life. That was definitely one of the best days of my life. And that's no exaggeration. I've been a Monster Jam fan ever since I was five or six, ever since I was a little kid. So to have the Andersons of all people make that experience as special as they did couldn't mean more to me. So cool. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, this is one of my favorite videos I've ever put out. Please share it. Uh, go check out the Extreme Kingsling Monster Truck Experience. Check out Dennis Anderson's uh, Digger's Dungeon. Go to Digger's Dungeon. Visit it. Even if you're not doing the ride, it's still such a rewarding experience. They got a diner. They got a petting zoo, too. They got a lot of animals on the property. So much to do there. You'll have fun, even if you don't spend a dime. But definitely do. Check out the merchandise. Definitely check out the Extreme Monster Truck Ride. That's something you'll never experience in life unless you do it. So please check it out. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Have a good one.